and the reveal. Do we have a geode? Dugway's geodes, I believe I can see it. Driving down the Pony Express, it's a pretty rough road. I would only recommend four wheel drives because we had a tough time getting in here. <gasps> Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in Utah and we're in a place called Dugway Geode Beds. I've never been here before. I've always heard it's kind of treacherous getting out and check it out. Someone here, we don't even know who they are. They made it before us and they're stuck because three days ago, guys, check this out. There was a huge rain and washed out the road. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find too many geodes today. Check this out. This road's deep. <laughs> yeah, someone really got stuck maybe yesterday or the day before. This road is impassable, but all of this land has geodes. And I don't know how far the best stuff is, but we're going to just walk it and check it out. So I don't know what's happening out here. We've never been here before. We're just going to go and check it out. <laughs> Watch out there, bud. <laughs> All right, out here with the lizards, we've been walked about a half a mile or so, and you can see we're coming up on a huge water spillway or ditch. I'm going to walk up that because the geodes are supposed to be all here. So what I'm thinking is if there's any geodes, the water could have etched them out into this little spillway here. So we're just checking out. You can see the water from a few days ago, the massive rain just really etched it out. And so far, not one geode yet. You know, we're looking for pretty much roundish type rock. I think I found a geode right there. Check it out. I'm not sure yet. It's got the roundness. It's kind of light. We'll take it and we'll break this baby open here later. I don't even think this is a geode, so we're gonna go ahead and crack it open to be sure instead of continuing on the journey. No, oh, there it is. Not a geode. Let's see if we can pick him up. Nope, <laughs> he's so cute. All right, we're still walking this runoff and check it out. Found a geode here. This one looks really agatized, so I don't know if it'll be hollow, but we'll have to cut it with a saw it might make some really cool polishing slabs so we made it to the main area we think i'm not even sure if we're at the right place or not almost gonna turn around and found a small one check it out right here look there it is but you can really see the bubble formation and these kind of lines that look like almost like a brain and that's a really good indicator that you've done found a geode <laughs> and uh i looked down and i said hey i believe you stepped on a on a, a geode and there it is yep let's get it cracked up you practice your hands look mm -hmm. can you do it without touching dylan without touching what was this i've seen this too right before. oh i see it too see it? oh that yep. is one that's a geode i don't know if it's hollow but, yeah, there we go. Oh, almost had it. Oh, dude, another one. No, uh, right here? Yeah, right here, look, 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 look. It's gotta be. See that? Oh, yeah, look dude, at that's that. That's bigger. Oh, yeah, look. finally. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now that is a geode, boy. Let's get this one cut open. This could be epic. All right, guys, so I've got five geos from the day. We're going to cut them open right here on the saw and see what we've got. It's going to be fun. I've never cut any of these Dugway geos before. That was my first time going. Let's check them out. I guess I'm not a juggler. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I have to cut this one because I dropped it and it just cracked open, guys. Look at this, y'all. Let me get it cleaned up and we'll check it out. Well, I saved a little bit of time. 
you can see the inside of this geode looks like a betroidal chalcedony, kind of like a type of agate. Pretty cool, I guess. This one cracked right open. All right, guys, here we go. Let's open it up for the reveal. And it's solid, but that's really cool still. That'll polish down and be really neat. There was no vug, not enough void to create crystals, but you can see that cool agatized layering. Really neat. All right, so let's cut this one next. We got another one here. Here we go. Let's see what it is. And it's another solid, but like I say, these are still really cool. We can cut these down and make thinner plates and slabs here, and you'll be able to see through them a little bit. All right, guys, let's go for number three. This one feels light. That one feels like it's probably solid. But this one does feel light. I think this is going to be the one we're looking for right here. Here we go. And the reveal. Do we have a geode? Yes, we do. Look at that one. You can see, just like the other ones, form very similar, but this one had enough room to grow some crystals. We'll get it cleaned up a bit more here. All right, here we go. Nice, clean cut. And, oh, this one's kind of like a half and half sort of solidified but then it's got the crystals this location was kind of cool but honestly i really wouldn't recommend it it's a really tough drive it's tough digging not many finds and the geodes just aren't that great but i'm sure they can get good and if you really want to check the geodes out check the keokuk area check out my recent videos right here if you really want to get some nice ones until next time thanks for watching Boy, what's up? Are you excited, boy? Are you excited? You guys need to be excited. You better hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss the videos. We got Amos. I know y'all remember him. Guess where we're going? To Tucson. We're on our way as we speak. We're halfway there. Guys, Tucson, Arizona has some of the craziest, largest crystals, most expensive gems and minerals in the world at this show and we're going to bring you several videos starting this next weekend. You don't want to miss it. Check them out. That was a yep. Yeah,